we are with thoughts. Oh my God. And exams next week. Oh my God. Oh my God, no. No. I don't want to fail. No. I'm in my fifth year of medical school and I still get scared every time my exams are by the corner. Can somebody, anybody, please help me? Exams in medical school are a whole new ballgame because you're being given so much information in such a short amount of time. This makes it nearly impossible for you to learn all that information in the short time given. I spent hours and hours and N scrolling through YouTube videos looking for the best study techniques. I even wrote all my topics on my wall, but I still feel so scared of my exams. What do I do? I seriously need help. The bitter truth is, you have to actually study in order for you to pass your exams. So drop all the study tips, study techniques, study this, study that, and actually just read your books because that's all you need to pass your medical exam. Okay, Mr. Karis, I'm going to see you next time at your next appointment. And please be more careful next time, okay? Bye. 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 Sorry about that. The question I want to ask is, do you want to become a doctor? Yes. Yes, I do. You do? Then jump. Jump? I, I should jump. Yeah, jump. Okay. I'm a doctor! But studying for me can get really boring. And sometimes, whenever I stop studying for a day or two, I find it very difficult to get back to studying. Oh man! The game plan! Yes, so this is what you're gonna do. First of all, you're gonna get all your past papers. At least, let's say about six years of past papers. Two, you're gonna get yourself some long notes that you can answer these past papers in. And finally, you're gonna start answering these past papers. Because this is really all you need. Once you've read all the books that you can, actually covered all your syllables, the next thing is to actually start answering past papers. Because Duh! Past papers are like the solution to literally everything in medical school. But I realized that sometimes medical school can change the way they ask questions, the pattern of questions, and this can be another fear of for medical students. So what you're gonna do is still answer past papers, but now go into a broader view by really understanding each topic and bringing out the questions of how you think they're gonna ask it this year and asking them yourself but how do i make sure i do not just pass my exams but pass it with distinctions cover all my topics and still get into the exam hall without feeling anxious it happens to us all so here's the solution you're going to get yourself a calendar and a red marker to have yourself a calendar and a marker you're going to strike out every day that you studied and leave empty the days that you didn't study or you can even put in a circle if you like the goal is for you to make sure that you do not study for more than one day like let's say you need a break you get bored you get tired of studying make sure it doesn't pass one day this is called the two day rule if you must break your cycle just break it for one day don't make it up to two days that's the only way to stop procrastinating because if you break it for one day yeah you're human right but if you break it for two days you're just being lazy about valerie and that solution is to always reward yourself like this is a very good food i want to eat right now always reward yourself because studying can be so annoying and so boring and whenever you don't have a reward at the end of the day you're not going to feel like studying so always say okay once i'm done studying i'm going to buy myself a good bowl of rice i'm going to buy myself a shawarma like me oh oh okay focus so this is what you're going to do reward yourself don't be a slave to yourself Reward yourself every time you study. Every time you have a good day of studying, give yourself a treat. Oh my gosh. Val, I could go on and on and on about all the study techniques that you need to pass medical school. But I know there are a lot of them you can find on YouTube, right? But the truth is, what you have to do is to believe in yourself. Believe that what you've studied is enough to give you the grades that you desire. Fear not. And one of the best ways to do this is to pray because God is infinite in his mercy and his grace. So always, whenever you feel anxious or depressed or overwhelmed by medical school, just bow your head and pray. 
all right i hope that was helpful and i hope you believe in yourself to ensure that you crush it in medical school because i believe in you and i see you i feel a whole lot better i believe that i can pass my exams and not just pass i believe that now i can pass them with distinctions thank you that's the spirit so if you have any challenge in medical school feel free to drop them down in the comment section like and share this video so other medical students can see it just like yourself medical school can be hard but i believe that you are gonna crush it and become a doctor i'm valerie curry and i see you in the next one oh yeah in the next one <laughs>